Hi, I'm Steve Ritz, a teacher at Public School 55 here in the South Bronx, and I make a difference by growing food four stories up in my classroom, 365 days a year, right here in the South Bronx. Who wants to grow the butterhead lettuce? Me. Okay. So I became a teacher because it seemed like the right thing to do. And then I got bit, the magic hit. Every day here is an opportunity to do something great, to change lives, to transform a community. This is a community that needs education. This is a community that needs motivation. This is a community that needs connections to bigger things. And we are the conduit for that. I'm not a science teacher by trade. I'm certainly not a farmer. Many years ago, someone sent me a box of daffodil bulbs and we hid it behind the radiator and the heat and the steam from the radiator forced it and the kids saw this beautiful blooming thing of life. I had an epiphany and that began the work of actually, you know, planting seeds. It planted seeds in my mind and kids felt great. They felt wonderful and I wanted to replicate that success. One, two, three, si, se, puede, we have a taco. Food is a non-negotiable. We have children here who have never seen what real food is, and we also have kids here who have emigrated from other countries in search of food. We are 37% food insecure in this community. We have 40% unemployment in this community. 99% of the kids in this school qualify for free and reduced lunch. And to think that food is the entry point for public education, for reading, for writing, for literacy, for math, for aspiration and inspiration is incredible. But most importantly, by growing food, we're creating life. We're planting seeds. And that's what this is about. We are harvesting hope and cultivating minds. We made holes and plant the seeds. Then three days, it will grow and grow and grow. So this is a soilless system. Here's day three. Oh. OMG! And what we've been doing here is other classes. Mr. Steve, he's teaching us how it's natural. He taught us about pH, like it's bad and good, then you can eat more healthy vegetables and food. We have 96% daily attendance. That's an opportunity for me to get in and get those little brains cooking. Retention is going up. Faculty involvement is going up. On Sunday when I walk the street and kids tell me, I can't wait to see you tomorrow, We've got thousands of residents out there looking at us from the projects with our classroom glowing in the middle of the night saying, what's going on in there? And that's exciting. We're creating awareness and excitement. Check the pH of what? Everything. Not everything. When you teach kids about nature, they learn to nurture. And when children learn to nurture, we as a society collectively embrace our better nature. He believes in the Bronx and he believes in the students in the Bronx and their potential. Any student he works with, he connects and keeps in contact. He is always thinking of them. Every day is an opportunity to do something great. My favorite crop is organically grown citizens, graduates, members of the middle class, kids who are going to college, kids who are voting, kids who are staying out of jail. And now, here at an elementary school, we're finding it is easier to raise healthy children and fix broken men. And what could be more inspiring than that? Job creation programs, family health programs, cooking programs. The future is unlimited. Teaching kids to count is cool, but teaching them what counts is also critical. And while I'm very much about ABCDs, this is also about asset-based community development. So we want to bring the walls as far out into the community as possible and bring the community as close. So if we can knock down stereotypes and bridge kids and bridge schools, around things that are going to benefit the environment and the world as a whole? Wow. 